Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. As it stands, this is going to be my last reflection for Liberton in their year of daily reflections. And those of you that know me well will know that I'm really into my music. And at the moment, my latest obsession is The Boss, Bruce Springsteen. I've been going through his catalogue of albums and listening to pretty much everything he's ever written, as well as reading his autobiography just now. And one song that's really stuck out to me, amongst many, is We Take Care of Our Own. It was released in 2012 and has been used by both Obama and Joe Biden in their election campaigns. And the song's about Bruce's frustration that after several years of economic hard times, it seems that people are less willing to help each other. And the chorus seeks to encourage people that in America, they're meant to take care of their own. The chorus says, wherever this flag is flown, we take care of our own. It's an admirable sentiment, and one I think we should definitely aspire to everywhere in the world. But it reminds me of the start of the pandemic, where it was claimed that the first lockdown would bring people closer. It would bring communities closer as we faced the hardest times of our lives. And I don't know whether you think that's happened or not throughout the country, but something that's encouraged me has been this church's response. I truly believe that we've stepped up in the face of crisis. And whether it's been sending out daily reflections for almost a year now, or delivering lunches to those in need, or making sure the halls are safe and clean, or running weekly services on Zoom, we've really stepped up in people's hour of need and taking care of our own. Now that shouldn't be a surprise, and isn't a surprise for me. In the Gospel of John, Chapter 13, Jesus gives us a new command to love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And I'm encouraged to see this church live out this command over the past year and beyond that. But my challenge for today is that this command wasn't given purely for times of crisis. It wasn't given for covid so it doesn't end when the pandemic does. I'm so encouraged by what the church has done over the past year. I really believe that we've emptied the tank in terms of capacity and time and effort and energy for the sake of loving people. But don't stop here. We've set the bar pretty high now, but this is where the bar's set. And after COVID, we'll be facing a new set of problems and other needs will, need to, will be there to meet. So let's continue to love people as Jesus loved us. And let's continue to take care of our own in the name of Jesus. I really appreciate you guys and I thank you so much for how you've loved me over the years and for the example you set. Hopefully speak soon.